Hey dolls! So today we are going to work on a little rat training video. I'm going to teach you guys how you can teach your rat basic tricks such as rolling over, spinning, walking on hind legs, and jumping into your hand. So first off, you are going to need some treats of some sort. Just basic Cheerios work really well if you break them up into uh, twos or four pieces uh, because you don't want to give them the whole treat in one little sitting because you are going to be very, very repetitive with your tricks and you don't want to give them so much. But for today, I'm going to be using these Whisker Lickens treats because Luna really, really loves these. And what I do with them is I will break them up into little pieces. And that's how I get her to do little tricks. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is pretty much the easiest. Uh, with rats, you can see they really, really love the treats. So they will go just about anywhere. So as you can see, she's following around because she knows I have one. And rats learn fairly similar to dogs in the fact that um, dogs sometimes use clickers. You guys can find them at various pet shops or places like that. Uh, however, I find that with rats, you want to have both hands readily available because they are pretty fast creatures and they do run around a lot. And sometimes you need both hands while you are training them to do certain tricks. So I would really recommend just to use your mouth. For example, you can like snap your tongue like that's um, kind of what the sound that I use when training Luna. You want to train them for about a minimum of five minutes a day. Um, Luna learned really, really, really fast. Um, rats are just like humans and dogs. They learn at different paces. So um, just keep that in mind. You may have to work a little bit harder with your ratty baby. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to work on is walking on your hind legs. So what you do is you hold the treat in your hand, make sure that the rat sees it, and what you do is hold it in the air and make them walk. As they are in the air, you go and give them the treat. Make sure you only treat them when they are actually up on their hind legs. Walk. See what I mean? So again, just making sure she sees it. Say walk. And then do the little clicking sound so she associates the clicking with a treat, which means a reward. So she did good. If they do something bad or do something wrong, never, never punish them, but reward them when they do good. And again, just increase the distance that they walk, and pretty soon they will get it down. Walk. So the next trick is spinning. So what you do is hold the treat in your fingers and make them walk around in a circle, and then and give them the treat. Again, do this repeatedly, and pretty soon they will have it down. Spin, spin, just like that. And again, reward when they've done good. Now, rolling over works about the same way as spinning. So what you do is make sure that they see the treat, even give them just a little bit of a taste. And what you're going to do with this one is instead of going around like so, making them follow it, you're going to force it over their shoulder and use your other hand to help them in the process. That's how I got Luna to start doing it. So here we go. We roll over and then do the click and then give them the treat. And then pretty soon they'll do it on their own. And the very last trick that we have been working on is jumping into my hand. So you make sure that they see the treat. They jump up on your hand do the click, reward them, and then each time, just like with the walking, you increase the distance. So, for example, let her see the treat, let her see the treat, let her smell it, let her get a little lick or a taste, and then bring your hand so she has to jump higher, and then reward. Now, I do want to stress that you should only work on one trick a day because you will confuse the rat otherwise. So make sure that if you teach them one trick, they learn the trick, they have it down, then you can proceed to work on the next one. And then later on, once they have all of them down, you can combine them. Spin, roll over, good girl. Walk, come on, walk. Spin, spin, roll over, good girl. 
So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Luna is really hyper right now, but if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more rat training videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. We're going to work on teaching her some new ones, and hopefully I can come back to you guys with some new content next time. And please, 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 if you are looking into getting a rat yourself, do a ton of research. Um, rats take a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and a lot of love, as well as um, special care involving bedding and cages and food and treats and everything like that. Please be very knowledgeable when going into purchasing a rat or any pet of any kind because animals are living breathing creatures and they do deserve the best love and care possible. So with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye!